YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction video. Quick little baby little reaction video. Actually, the song's a decent little length here, 6.45, but um, I've been super busy the past couple of days. Yeah, I've not had the chance to record. You may have noticed I've not uploaded the past couple of days. All sorts of shit's been going on. Um, uh, so I'm recording quickly now to get a video up tonight. And then I don't know what's happening tomorrow. I'm going out tomorrow night. And then I'm probably going out Saturday night. So I'm not really 100% sure what's going on. But I'm recording this one now. Hopefully I'll have time to record and edit one for tomorrow. And we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. But for now, it's been a couple of weeks since I did Metallica, I think. Fuck knows, dude. What was the last one we did? We did Fuel not too long ago. And we did Jump in the Fire last. Today we're going back to the Black Album. I think we've only done Sad But True, if I recall correctly, was on this particular piece of... Uh, yeah. On this album. Is that the only one we've done? Looks like it. Does it matter? Not really. Black album. Wherever I may roam. Let's get into it because time is, as they say, pressed. Let's kick it. Sure. Do they say time is pressed? Is that a saying? Is that a gong? Dude, this is different. I like I like the build up there. It's good. I, I, I dig that. Getting into it a little bit, nice little uh, leading into it. It's kind of it reminds me a little bit of Sabbath True because I feel like that one as well was quite um, it was quite dark, quite heavy. I feel like it's a similar sort of tone. If I if I remember Sad but True correctly, quite um, you know, right.
yeah, so I guess it's kind of like um, a, a homeless man, you know, uh, as you said, rover, vagabond, whatever you want to call him, who's who's homeless and he's just, he, he's, I guess, blossomed in that. He's just taken that and is like, you know, living with it and he's become the king of his own world and he's, he's um, yeah, I guess, when we were talking about lyrics at the end, I've said before recently that I've been getting um, issues with copyright stuff, so I want to pause a little bit more. Um, but it's interesting because it's got this like super dark tone, I feel, and quite aggressive, yeah, dark energy about it, dark vibe about it. But really, if you if you sort of scroll through, I mean, maybe there's more implications. Maybe it's like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm a man of the land and face no laws, so maybe he's gonna murder someone. But I feel like, as far as like the, the tone of it, the lyrics are still quite. Um, it's just a homeless man enjoying his life, you know. Um, homeless man. I say, ho you say hobo, you know, vagabond, rover, wanderer, nomad. He uses here. Why are there so many terms for? Someone who is homeless. There's quite a lot of them. Uh, let's keep going. I've always thought that. One of the many. Yeah, just because you're a deep. I'm rambling. Oh, he goes. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, I like that. That was different. That was different. I like that. It's a little bit different from Metallica, from what I've heard. But yeah, dude. Ooh. Dude, he still gets faded out and he's still... Ooh. That could have kept going as far as I was concerned. And he is. And he goes. And he goes. We good? Ooh. Alright. I, I, dude, dude. That was a good song. <laughs> to no one's surprise, it's not like I was going to sit here and go, oh, that kind of blue. Dude, no, like, you know, it's about, oh, just a, just a man and his world that he has to explore. He's, he's, he's become homeless for whatever reason. And he's, um, I don't want to say embraced it, because oh, he's, he's em embraced it and seen the positive side of it, because that's a little bit of a, you know, a light-hearted, buttery way to, you know, it's quite like a dark-toned, aggressive, angry song. And I'm like, oh, he's, he's embracing the positives of the life he has in front of him. Uh, but no, he's like, you know, he's homeless, so he's just a fucking dude. He's not... He's not, oh no, I have no home and I'm hungry. 
um, which obviously is a real issue. And uh, it was, you know, homeless problem is uh, ravenous in Manchester right now. It feels like every time you walk into the town centre, there's more homeless people there, and it's really just uh, it's devastating and sad to see. And we should do everything we can to help them. But it was, um, <laughs> it wasn't that. It was like, dude, I'm gonna, you know, travel in, and this is my world, and I'm the king of it, and I can do what I want, and I can sleep where I want, I can say what I want whenever I want to say it. I don't have to worry about, oh, you know, I've got, I've got a, people need to respect me, and I need to uphold expectations because I'm homeless dude society didn't do shit for me brother and look, look where it's ended up you know he doesn't have to worry about oh people might be concerned with what I say oh no I might offend I'll just go to another town dude I'll just walk somewhere else you know he can he can sleep under the, he can sleep where he wants and that's his home um, so it's kind of yeah I mean I, I feel like this is one it's kind of the song sort of speaks for itself for the most part you know um, l lyric wise, I mean, it kind of is its own thing, but it's, it's, it's an interesting one. Again, because it's like a topic wise, it's just a bit of a bit of a, a weird one, a bit of a random one. It's like, oh, let's write a song about someone who's homeless, um, you know, roaming and enjoying it. <laughs> it's a bit of a random song. There is a big quote here. Um, uh, I think it's just talking about how the song came to be. It was another of the, um, yeah, I don't think this how it was too much other than things about how the song came together and stuff. Music and lyrics were kept separate until late in the process. Hetfield worked out melodies and then wrote lyrics fit into songs, syllable by syllable. Yeah, so I, I knew this sort of thing. This is just about their technique and how they sort of write songs and stuff. I knew about that, that's fair enough. Um, a song about a drifter who just walks the earth and is perfectly content about being on the road all the time. As d d d sure, it, it may not even be necessarily that he became homeless, and maybe he just is a drifter and that's just his thing, you know? But it's banger of a song, I enjoyed it. And the solo was, it. I liked it because it, it was different. It was a, a different, it, it was just a different sound for what I've heard from um, the rest of the Metallic stuff, which is nice that they're, they're mixing things up and keeping things fresh and doing th different things, and um, experimenting with different sounds and that sort of stuff, I enjoyed it. Um, so yeah. We'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. I don't know if it's... I was going to say sorry if it's just been a shorter one, but has it been that short? 30 minutes for a seven-minute song? That's, that's probably about... I mean, the, the reaction channels that would say much less um, and contribute much less to the content. But anyway, thank you for watching. Yeah, it, it, it's been just a hectic week and has it's, it's now going to be a hectic weekend, which, to be fair, the week, fair enough, but the, the weekend, you know, I don't have to go out. I'm gonna, I'm, I wanna, I'm, it's been summer. You know, people have been away. People are starting to come back. So, uh, yeah, night out tomorrow, and then um, we're not f fully decided, but probably something similar Saturday night. That said, or I'm just going to watch some football with my boy, actually, Saturday night. We'll see. I need to talk to him. We'll wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed, um, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Oh, the Q&A, 2000 Q&A is coming up, I promise. I've recorded it, it's just um, it's a big, it's a big boy. It's a big boy, it's a bit of a honker. So it's taken me a little bit of time to, to get through editing it and stuff, but that said, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. See you later, guys.